Hi, Brandon. How you doing? Okay. So the that other video should be up and, and running just fine now. Sorry about that. I, I did some troubleshooting and I I think I isolated the issue. So that so that video should be just fine right now. Okay. So, um, I, you know, the one thing I want to mention about type studies is this: is that everything should be equal other than the type. Okay. Meaning that you should pick one layout, stick with it, and just experiment with typographic compositions, okay? So if, for example, if, if, if this was your layout that you picked, okay, that's all you would have. This, you would just have this four times and you would um, place type in four different typographic uh, compositions, indicating four different type studies. And it's really important that you remember to do that moving forward because it's a typographic composition. So everything should, in order to, to successfully gauge the, the, the uh, uh, utility and the success of any given typeface or any given configuration of uh, your typographic studies, everything else has to be equal. So in other words, uh, you know, this one's got the, the, these controls, these dials back behind the main figure. This one's got them in a row at the bottom. This one's got them kind of in a triangle uh, configuration. The, this one's got a gradient uh, that goes dark to light top to bottom. This one's got a gradient that goes light to dark. Uh, upper left to lower right. So you see what I'm saying? Every one of these layouts is different where the layouts should be identical. The only thing that should change is your typographic uh, composition. Okay, that said, I definitely think this is the most effective of the, of the four. Um, this has got so many different typefaces and so many different config, uh, um, configurations of type. It's all stack type. It's really, really hard to read. Um, this one just really seems really super crowded, and it almost seems like the, the type is forced into the eyes, and especially in the earphones. Um, this one, of course, is the part of the type is obstructed by this this button right here, so that that's not a good situation. Um, this, I think, is great. My recommendation here is to increase the type size a little bit. That typeface looks really super casual, like almost, and I don't mean this. To sound discouraging, or I don't mean this to sound derogatory, but it, it's it's very a very young. It appears to be very young, like almost. I hate saying this because I don't want you to take it wrong, but it almost appears childish, um, like this is geared towards little kids. Do you see what I'm saying? And um, and it, it's because of the casual nature of the typeface here. I would recommend a sans serif. Um, even Helvetica, Futura, Gil Sands, something like that. For your uh, for your typeface, and you know, I, I would definitely to try to do use a little separation here. Okay, so you have Mr. Nice Guy. That's the name of the company, right? And what do they do? Multimedia and entertainment. So so multimedia and entertainment are related to each other, whereas Mr. Nice Guy is a little bit not. It, it, it's related, but it doesn't have to exactly. These are are belong together. Multimedia and entertainment. So let's do this. Typographic composition. Go ahead and increase the type size a little bit, okay? Mr. Nice Guy right here, okay? Then move down and group multimedia and entertainment together. All left aligned, okay? I would present these all in a white typeface because it's going it, to, it'll, it'll, uh, it's the most readable. Specifically moving on to the next phase where we start uh, adding color to the composition. Okay, so those are my recommendations. Again, um, uh, Group multimedia and entertainment, left align your type. I would go ahead and align it right to that eye, left eyeglass right there, that left side of the right eyeglass right there. Use that as your guide. And it's always a good idea to find something to add to, to use as a guide when it comes to alignment. So use that as your guide, right? So Mr. Nice Guy, then a little space, then multimedia and entertainment. So there's a bigger space between Mr. Mice Guy and multimedia than there is between multimedia and entertainment. That, by virtue of proximity, is creating a relationship between multimedia and entertainment and isolating Mr. Nice Guy as something that might be different, and it is in this case because it's the title. Okay, all right, good job. Those are my recommendations. I'd like to see those changes if, if you think they're going to improve. If not, you know, you feel free to use whichever one you think has got the most potential. But those would be my recommendations. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you, Brandon.